morning welcome back to a new video it is again uh, one of the simple trees problem it simply says that we are given the root of the binary tree again it's a tree and to be more precise it's a binary tree and usually for the tree problems we are only given the root now we have to return the sum of all the left leaves make sure there are two words we have to get the sum because every node as you can see have a number associated with it so i have to take the sum of those of those numbers but of only the left ones and that too which are only the leaves so all the leaves but that too it should be a left leaf what i mean by that is again uh, a leaf is a node which has no children and a left leaf is a leaf that is the left child of another node so any node which is a left child and it's a leaf then i call this as a, as a left leaf so for him if i go left okay he has a left child so this is a left child of a someone and also it is a leaf node so this is my answer and i can add that in my answer again i will simply traverse in my tree i'll reach here okay firstly it's a right it's a right child and also secondly it's not also a leaf node okay no worries i'll go on to its right okay it's a leaf node but it actually was reached by going on the right side of someone so he will not be counted for us i'll go in the left okay so at 15 i was able to reach and that too he was a left child of someone so he's my answer so my answer is 24 cool let's see this one okay one is uh, a leaf node but not a left or right child of anyone else so answer is zero okay let's take this example one two three four five as you can see i have one okay i go on the left i reach the two two firstly it's not a leaf node it's a it's a left child but not a leaf node okay so he will not be added i'll go on to three he is a leaf node but not a left child so he also will not be added okay i'll go on to four okay he is a left of two added he is also a leaf okay so for sure i will add that in my answer okay four is added then i'll go on to five he is a right child of someone so not added and then i'll go and say okay he's a leaf so okay no matter what but he was a right child of someone so again i'll not add it so this is my answer so answer will be four of this specific test case so you realize that you will simply again you will simply solve and do a dfs function in which in which you will start in from your root node or basically any node you can say you will start from the your, your root node or basically you can say i will start from any node itself now it's a simple dfs function which you will do again when you have to add make sure when you have to add you have to add in your answer if that specific node is a leaf node firstly and also i will again if i ask you if i ask you bro you have to do a simple dfs traversal then you just how you do it you just check okay for the current node if its left is not equals to null then you simply traverse its left which means you go on to nodes left and also you check okay if its right is not null if it is right is not equals to null then you usually go to right okay nodes right so this is how in general you perform a dfs function now you can have a base case where your node is null and all that stuff but as you can see i am already checking that itself in this condition itself, so i don't need a base case specifically now uh, this is a simple dfs function which you can do but the change in this is that as soon as I go on to left child, which means I have a left, I'm going on to left child, I will also do a quick check if that left child is also a leaf node. So as soon as I have gone to the left child, again, make sure that, okay, this is the node, let's say. This is his left child. So this is node's left. So this is node's left right now. I was at node. I was, I'm about to go to my child, which is left child, so which is node's left. To check if this node is a leaf node or not you will check okay nodes left its left should be null its right should be null when both left and right are null that is a leaf node indication so i know that firstly i have i can only add in my answer when it is a left child of someone so i am inside this if condition then in this if condition itself i will check if that specific node which means nodes left now it is a node nodes left it, it is now a child node so i can also say that uh, let's say i make another variable again i am writing the piece of code here itself right piece of code here itself and i am saying that i will make another node let's say tree node star child node child node i will say and name it as that nodes left this is my right now child node and i will have to verify if this child node is null if is a leaf node or not so i'll just say if child nodes left if it is equals to null and it's an and condition and the child's node right 
is also equal to null. In that case, I can simply say it's a leaf node. I know if it's a left side of someone, I know it's a leaf node, then I can sh I should add in my answer. So I'll add in my answer, answer plus value is equals to child's node value, child's node value. And then ultimately I can simply keep on doing my child node, which is nodes left again, nodes left is equal to my child node. It is same as child node. And thus, again, you just add it in your answer, which is let's say your sum because you need the sum. So you can initialize your sum maybe globally or maybe inside this as an address it is totally up to you i initialize let's say globally and then i will keep on adding and ultimately i'll get my answer cool so that is the ultimate code a simple dfs traversal which will take o of n time and for sure o of n space because of recursive calls now again in the iteration also you can perform the same stuff as you can see usually when we say recursive as in dfs it is the internal stack recursive stack which is applied so you can also perform the exact same thing iteratively by just using your own stack Cool. Now I, I did the exact same stuff. I initialized a global variable. I did initialize to zero. Then I called a simple DFS function from the root. I went on to my uh, node root. If it is a left, if I have a left, I'll go on to my left and then I'll check if child's node left is null and my child's node right is null, then it's a leaf node. Then I will add in my sum corresponding child's node value. And then ultimately I go on to my DFS. And the same way I'll try for my right, but in the right, I have no condition of adding or anything because it's a right. Right has no condition. So I'll simply go on to my right. And thus I can simply re return my sum. Thus taking my time of O of N and space of O of N. And that's how you solve it. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. And again, if you have not joined the Discord server, please join it in this in which we can discuss doubts of code forces, code chef, or dev, anything whatsoever. It's a community for us. Any doubts whatsoever you have, you can just come here and we also interact live face-to-face -face and audio also. Bye-bye, take care and please like it if you like.